Salutations, everyone. <laughs> I had to do it once. I had to do it once. You knew it was coming. You knew. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back. Can you guess what day it is today, guys? Based on my greeting. That's right, guys. I am back today because it is the best day of the week. It is Ruby Day, the day I wait for all week long. Oh my goodness, it's here. Um, you guys, uh, <laughs> I just... I'm still like just a whirlwind of emotions over what I watched last, so I cannot wait to get into it today. If you're joining me early today, you know just what that means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much, and as always, I'm sending you up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in the description down below. So, yeah, guys. <laughs> oh, man, last episode. What a way to kick off the volume. Um, I don't know how you guys managed to keep this a secret from me, but I'm so glad you did. It was just so out of nowhere, and I didn't know how badly I needed it. Um, I didn't even get to say this last time because I was just so, like, how, why... I'm not going to argue it, thank God. Um, but I love Penny's new look. I love that she has, like, the short hair and, like, long hair grew out over it. It's kind of how it looks. Or maybe it's just, like, a style choice. Like, she just styled it that way. But it almost kind of looks like it stopped growing when she died. Because, you know, even her dad confirmed she did, in a sense, die. And then it, like, started growing out. I don't know. It's just a theory. But um, someone made a good point that like, and this is kind of what I was thinking too. And this is why I thought maybe this is why they're not bringing her back. Because she had an actual aura. Um, she was like the first AI with aura. Um, it, you can bring back like her systems and her memories and her core and everything. Um, but I wonder how, like, I mean, I would imagine if, I mean, it just, it's, uh, is it all just kind of like linked together? Like it's not just, it's not just like, um you know, random data, like, that all makes us who we are anyway, and now that we know about things like semblance, that, like, it's based on, um, it's, it's kind of like nature and nurture, sort of, um, you know, I guess we can just assume maybe that that just all is, you know, her, or her aura was all a part of that, and it just came back, I don't know, I don't know, guys, I'm not an aura expert, that's up to these good folks on the show to figure out. So, um, but that was a good point. I'm like, yeah, like her, her soul, you know, um, like how would that come back? But I mean, again, it's kind of, uh, maybe it's just kind of like more or less tied into like her, her memories make her who she is. Um, I knew, like, when Pietro, when he was talking about, like, oh, my daughter told me. Like, my first clue was the bow. And I'm like, wait a second. She was built an atlas. And then he's like, my daughter told me all about you. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, Penny's dad. And I think had I not been so caught up in trying to follow the episode, like, had I had a, a chance to think about it more, I think I would have dwelt a little bit on the way that he said that because he wasn't like my daughter told me all about you you know like he lost his daughter like he didn't he sounded too um like I think I would have started to question like is she still alive but I gotta be honest I in my wildest dreams I would not have thought that they would I would have thought maybe that they built a new penny you know or like a new um model of AI based on Penny, but never in my wildest dreams would I have pictured them bringing Penny back as like Penny, 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 Penny. <laughs> oh, it's so good, guys. It's so good. So that was that. I mean, that was my big takeaway, but there was a lot of great things in the episode. Um, for one, we really got to see more of Atlas. Um, and folks have pointed out to me that, you know, what we knew of Atlas was kind of all more or less from Weiss's perspective and that even Weiss because of her the way she was like literally capped um did not 
probably know an awful lot of like the people of Atlas and how they lived and how they thought about things and like we got to see some of that in the last episode and it was I gotta say guys they're really hitting us in the face with the, with the just how harsh things are in Atlas um, particularly right now because of um Ironwood kind of taking some rather extreme perhaps um measures but um a, a phrase that's been thrown around a lot has been blind patriotism with Atlas and I think it's I think you know we're seeing that we saw it a little bit with like Cordovan and we're seeing it more and more now um that it's it and it really seems like it's not just like the military because I thought maybe that's just like oh um maybe that's just how a particular group thinks but it seems like it does like reach beyond that um okay the episode was awesome we had we just had a lot of good things like of course you know of course you're not gonna have an episode where you bring back penny and that's not gonna be like all i'm talking about but um but there were other good things too so um we had just i just like the little moments we had where like nora like asked like you know about the million questions or like where weiss uh defends blake or yang and the drone and everything there were just so many like good little moments and somebody pointed out that because you know we know penny's supposed to be like pinocchio her dad is um, oh my god, what's his name? I'm gonna forget what it is now, but you know who Pinocchio's, like, dad in the story was. And he even had, like, the whale on his desk and everything. I totally missed that. Although there were a lot of good little Easter eggs in his office, like the days, days of, uh, days without nonsense, zero. <laughs> zero days. I, I am pretty sure I've gone my whole life with zero days without nonsense. I, I'm pretty comfortable in saying that. Um, so yeah, so of course we know our our crew is in a bit of trouble now. It seems where we where we left them, they were apprehended by the Ace Ops. Which when they said it in the episode, it sounded like Ace Ops, and I'm like, oh, Ace Ops Fables, and yes, I finally got one. Thank you, Brain. Good job. Um, because I like I'm bad at like guessing who the inspirations are and everything for the most part. Like I usually need them explained to me. Um, but this one, like, yes, I got it right off the bat, but it is actually Ace Ops, not Ace Ops. But when they said it fast, it just, uh, my brain just woke up for a second, made the connection, so good job. Um, all right, guys, I could drone on and on forever, but I'm dying to see the next two episodes of this volume. What do you say we go ahead and get started on episodes two and three, volume seven, Ruby. Let's go. Oh, we're gonna, so we got to see the theme, but we're gonna like hear it here as a theme. Oh, I just, oh my God. I just love the, the opening with like the, the silhouettes. I love the song so much. Oh, and, the, and everyone's changing their hair apparently and their looks. I love it. I love the new look so much. There's, yeah, Ironwood's got a real different look now. There's the Aesops. Uh, oh, yeah, someone pointed that out. That, like, the hacking. Yeah. That it's, it's connected to what we've seen with the past hacking instances. Oh, my God. <gasps> oh! Nice. Trying to figure out. Oh, ah, John with the hair. See, that's what happens when you have sisters who braid your hair your whole life. You're like, you know what? Snip. Cutting it off. Oh. Ironwood fighting with Oscar. I wonder if he's fighting with Oscar or fighting with Oz. I don't know. Oh my god. That, I don't know how the animation keeps. Uh, this! This reminds, does this remind anyone of this? There's something that reminds me of, like a 90s cartoon. <laughs> my Penny's like, ah! <laughs> ah! My brain. So overwhelmed with love. Beautiful. Breathtaking. Oh no. trying to chew it out. Okay, so we're back. We haven't gotten the haircuts yet. 
Norris just gonna gnaw right through. What are they going on Where about? Where do you think they're taking us? I'm gonna go with jail. I still can't believe that fishing pole guy took us out like it was nothing. Welcome to Atlas. Those were Ironwood's ace operatives. Hmm. You guys had a run in with the ace ops? Ironwood must really have a bone to pick with you. They're not Both that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal? The ace ops are the elite of elite military huntsmen. And Ironwood's uh. personal attack dogs. So they got you too, huh? <laughs> I wouldn't let myself get caught by them. I'm here because I've been speaking out against Atlas's exploitation of Mantle, and General Ironwood is trying to silence me. You threw a brick at her ship. It's worth it if it gets people talking about our cause. <laughs> oh my. Yes, the fight for better conditions in Mantle, led by the charismatic, talented, lovely Robin Hill and her happy huntresses. They were all top Atlas Academy mm. graduates who could have signed <laughs> really? up for the military, but Robin Atlas has chose to stay in Mantle. She's got oh. her seat on the Kingdom's Council, and when she gets it, there's <laughs> a red end to Ironwood's tyranny! Really? Is that their real name? Don't you think tyranny's a little dramatic? Easy to say for uh -oh. she heiress living Recognize her. Atlas. Oh, you don't know anything. No. You you know nothing. Stop speaking of things that you know nothing of. Also, who is Robin Hill and what's this so... Now it's too loud. Ah, Norris! Aww. Enjoy the view. Seems like we're going to be heading into some... This isn't the police stuff. Yeah. Atlas Academy. Why are we at Atlas Academy? Maybe. Oh. Oh. Also, I love that Ruby can't help but like enjoy the beauty of the world even when they're in trouble. You know what I mean? That's so Ruby. I guess we will be seeing the general. That's okay. What is? Uh, I'm really curious to see like where he's at. What do we do? I don't know yet, but we should be careful with what we say. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. Starting now. We'll start in your lead, Ruby. Ruby. <sighs> How? I wonder. Oh my lord. Yeah, there's a lot that Ironwood does not know, and them. Um... <gasps> Yay, you're here! Danny! What? What is. Winter. Oh, Winter! Anyone want to give us a hand with these? You have 10 seconds to take those off before I start hurting you. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, big sis in the house! Please, come in. Why cuff them it's to so do that? To see all of you. Okay. The reception didn't really convey that. Yeah. I sincerely regret how you were treated by my team. And he's the like. The entered our airspace. It raised some red flags. We assumed the ship was stolen. Stolen? <laughs> Okay, yeah, it was stolen. It was it was stolen. You stole an Atlas airship? Before what you get mad. You thinking you might have been shot down. How unbelievably irresponsible. Love you too, sis. Sorry, I worried you. Love you too. But we did what we had to do. I. Come on, I just hug her. Understand. Yeah. They they but had a I reason. Believe that oh you boy! This to happen, yeah, he he doesn't Can't work well with these kids when they have their minds set on something. Speaking of which, we have some important information for you that's confidential. Oh, is it about the relics, or perhaps the Winter Maiden? 
You told them? <laughs> oh. Did you really think you were the only one who got to work on a new plan after Beacon? With Ozpin gone, I needed my own team of people I could trust. Okay. So yes. Penny. Mm, hi, Penny. The Aesops, too. Which is why I'm so glad you're here with this. Okay. Until now, I believed it was impossible to truly turn the tide against Salem. Oz has pushed her back, has kept victory out of her claws, but she will keep returning stronger and stronger. About that. Unless we destroy her. Guys? What about the Atlas Relic? You mean the Staff of Creation? It's safe inside the vault. And the Winter Maiden? She is secure and in stable condition. Stable condition? What does She's, that uh, not exactly a spring chicken. Okay, yeah, we don't know anything about the... What's... What is this? What? I know how this all looks. Recalling my military, the embargo, I probably don't seem the most trustworthy right now. Then why mm. continue it? The people of Mantle mm. are hurting. I needed mm. to ensure Salem couldn't infiltrate Atlas, and I wanted my military here, protecting my people. But it's not protecting them. It's making uh, everyone hate you. It's it's really making some bad feelings it's a here. I'm to pay. Okay. I mean. Just as you all have been entrusted with the knowledge of Salem's existence, I need you all to trust me. And everything gets plan. dark. Yes, ominous. Ospin believed the best way to fight Salem was to do so in secret. Whether that was the right choice or not isn't for me to say. But we find ourselves okay. in a position of needing, well, a new approach. And what okay. Do you suggest? That's what is this? Amity Coliseum, where the Vital Festival is held? Indeed. When oh. Beacon fell and everyone on Remnant lost contact with one another, I knew our current system was outdated. Amity okay. was built to bring the nations together. And it will serve that purpose once again. Um, he's going to reinforce it? Isn't it great? We're not going to just replace Beacon Tower. Building a new tower on top of Amity Coliseum will re-establish global communications. By launching oh. the tower into the atmosphere, our scientists believe we can create a sort of satellite out of reach okay. of the rim and capable of maintaining global communications even if we were to lose another tower. Even from like Skygrim? With flying grip? You don't need the entire military for this. I will for the next part. Oh, uh, so okay. Tell the people about Salem. Oh, we're d oh what? Mmm. Well. So that's why you withdrew your troops to handle the panic that will break out in Atlas. Yes, panic is inevitable, and panic okay. brings grim. But panic I believe brings we are grim. Ready. Once Atlas has come to grips with the fight ahead, I'll use Amity Tower to spread the message to all a remnant. But everything will fall apart. Uh, We're it. everywhere. It's You're gonna right? be, it's gonna be but bad. Atlas is willing and prepared to assist. Trying to hide the truth okay. in the world will eventually kill us all. I mean, uh, there's some tr there's some truth in the fact that we should be honest. Spent his whole life, many lives, keeping this secret. Yeah. Uh, but since Beacon, things have changed. Without him here to guide us, all I can do is use my best. Is anyone equipment. gonna tell him? Are we gonna tell? Are we gonna tell him? What is it? <sighs> Actually, hey! us isn't completely gone. He's not gone. Uh, Oscar um, here is. Is the next Ospin. He's the next one. Us? Hi. Hey. I'm so <gasps> glad you're here. I didn't think you. Not quite. He's uh, kind of. Uh, Gone? He's he's a, he's moment. he's gone deep. He's gone deep. That's not normal. It's How no. Okay, so we're not we telling were him. In a train crash, and okay. ever since, well, suddenly Oz wasn't there anymore. Okay. All right. Okay, Ruby, we're we're gonna follow your lead here. Okay. 
Oh boy. Did you learn anything from him about the relics before? He told us the lamp can answer three questions. But all the questions were used up already. Oh, we're okay. They're like, we're, oh, we're, okay. Oh, all right. Told us that too, once upon a time. Hmm. At least we have you, Oscar. You're safe here in Atlas. Maybe together we can figure out how to bring Ospin back. Thank you, sir. I mean, uh, General. I Ironwood. Is it making a noise right now? No, it's not. Okay. Thought it was making a noise. I'm like, <laughs> the lamp. Oh, all right. You're giving it back to me? Mm. After what happened with the Aesops, I don't want you to think I'm keeping anything from you. Especially something as important as this. For the time being, I think it's safest with the people who brought it here. Okay. I mean, this, this is good. Thank you. We're kind of not telling him everything. In fact, we're kind of not telling him anything. We but must it's... work together. We're here to fight Salem and win. Oh, dear. No. Oh, dear. If you're all on board. Yes. Tell us how we can help. We're going to help, but Good. we're... Okay. Because getting all right. the Amity Tower ready to launch won't be easy. Yeah. But no, first, this is a very dangerous plan. I think we need to get those weapons of yours up to our standards. Oh, it's upgrade time. This is Atlas. While assisting the military, we will provide you with the best equipment our scientists can devise. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Upgrade time, you guys. And then there was the third time when... All right, cut the chat. I'd like to sincerely apologize for the miscommunication down in Mantle. We didn't I intend feel so to. bad. Honestly, if we had known who you were, we'd be laughing over a hot meal right now. And I understand. You're <laughs> Just follow the orders. I mean, you could have asked us some questions. <laughs> Ruby. Uh, questions are for the weak, but we're all on the same um, team now. Not that I'm happy about okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, all right. He's. We just wanted he's to say He's wagging his tail, though. And that we're looking forward to working with you on our next mission. You might be students, but you've been fighting just as hard as we have, if not harder. Exactly what I'm Sorry, looking forward hard. to seeing what you kids can do. <sighs> not everything's a competition, Hare. These are really cool designs. Let me show you around campus. <gasps> Ay, let's all follow Penny. Pro. Hmm? Oh boy. I meant it when I said it was good to see you again. Uh, yeah. You too. We're oh, we're hu we're hugging. Okay, we're we're hugging now. We're oh oh. I didn't know they were close. You know, I didn't know they were. They didn't seem like it. That way is the training rooms. Oh, and over there are the classrooms. Oh, they're getting tired. great, Penny. Oh, Nora's out. Nora's out. Remember. You're in Atlas now. As the most well-funded school on Remnant, every team at Atlas Academy gets their own room. And if that wasn't enough... So we're staying in the dorms? It'll be just like Beacon again! Oh, Penny! So they, and they have plans to rebuild Beacon and the, and the Coliseum. And they're gonna have a satellite! And it's, it all sounds good! I mean, the, the whole... The whole telling them about Salem thing is a little troubling, but and it will remain safe. That is my promise. Okay, and we knew that they were on their way, so yep. For the last time, a singular hideout makes us more susceptible to discovery. But what if we're seen? What if we're Great. we stay mobile? Oh, well, cyber security has been stepped up in Atlas. As uh, usual, none of the code was updated in Mantle. Oh, Mantle. Yikes. That's that's it, guys. Uh, I it's, write that code after all. He's the one. He is the one. This is what people were 
were telling me about like well we know that there was hacking back in a couple of volumes back and we I think I dis I dislike him even more with the robo tail but he is always entertaining though isn't he uh oh and now we got oh guys all right so I feel like this episode was a lot about just like unpacking a lot of like what's been going on in this whole different world um and it's it's tough because it was not that long ago that we were all just like bowled over about what's been kept from us and okay so we have some new designs here and i'm really i'm really liking the new characters so far um i like their designs and i like how they're all very unique um and I, that makes sense that you would have to like get the measurements for all your people down before you know what i mean like all right, we got a character who's six foot one and one who's five foot seven. We got to make sure they always look that way when they're on screen together. Um, all right, it's going to try and play the next one. But first, I want to talk a little bit about this episode. I'll just, you know, just hang on there, Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll, you're... Don't worry. All right, guys. Um, actually, I shouldn't be taking these out because I'm about to watch the next one. <laughs> I'll, put them back, I'll put them back in. I'll put them back in. Um, all right. I want to say a little bit about that episode because I feel like we, if last episode was kind of like, you know, just racing full speed into volume seven, this one was about kind of carefully unpacking a little bit of the facts around what's been going on. Um, so we have Ironwood. Ironwood is very, very devoted to still trying to help the world and protect it from Salem. Um, it is kind of sad that it seems like Atlas is doing awesome and Mantle is not doing as great. Um, you know, I think maybe there's some interesting real world parallels there about kind of disparity between areas, perhaps. Um, I am excited that, like, that being said, that, like, Atlas is doing so awesome with all the big tech. I am, um... I am excited that we're going to be getting some upgrades and that kind of makes sense as to um, moving into the whole like new look for everyone. So the scene with Weiss and Winter was really sweet. So Winter and Penny are like in the inner circle here with Ironwood. Ironwood is not does not seem quite as like far gone as I thought he was going to be. I feel like last time we saw him, he was literally like in a rage. And I think he was just mad because he was talking to, you know, Mr. Father Knows Best, you know, Daddy, Daddy Dearest or whatever, um, Weiss's dad. Uh, but, I mean, he seems pretty, he seems like he's given this a lot of thought. It's very interesting to me. Because it was not that long ago that we were all very shocked and overwhelmed by learning the truth about everything and kind of questioning Ozpin for keeping this all a secret. Now we're kind of faced with, we're, 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 you know, we're getting put in sort of a situation where now it's up to, well, Ruby, what are you going to do? Are you going to share this information? Are you going to um, make sure that it's all public? Are you going to kind of play it? you know, close to the vest and, um, and see what happens first and be a little bit careful about it. And she chose to play it a little bit more carefully. And I find that interesting. And, um, you know, I think we'll see where that's going, especially since he was like, Hey, I want to make sure all the cards are on the table. And I don't know if he's telling the truth, but it does seem like he's trying to be like super outright and honest with them about everything. And Ruby's kind of like, okay, we're going to help you, but we got some stuff we want to sit on for a little bit. Um, I also find it interesting that, again, going with that, like, okay, well, we were all pretty mad at Oz for keeping that from us. Um, but now we're kind of faced with, like, we're going to tell the whole world about Salem. And it's kind of like, well, I mean, 
and and it was Pira's kind of like first thought way back. It was like, why doesn't everyone know about this? And now we're gonna tell everyone about it. And like, honesty is good. Honesty is good. Honesty is good, you guys. Don't get me wrong. And I'm also kind of like, I just find it interesting. I don't know who's right and wrong. I just find it kind of interesting that they would put us in one position where we, the audience, and the crew that we're following were the ones who are kind of like kept in the dark. And now we're kind of put in the position where we're on the other side. And we have the opportunity to let people in on something um, that's going to be very mind-blowing and scary. And uh, kind of like on two levels, it's a little difficult to find out how to proceed like we have ruby trying to decide if she should tell ironwood what's really going on and then we have kind of just the whole group in general like oh we're gonna we're we're gonna let the whole public in on what's like at least the existence of salem and what and what we know about it and we know that like based on what when we had that big talk back in the day with crow like i mean there is still an awful lot to learn even before you get into the stuff that oz was like really 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 keeping for everyone um all right um and that and 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 so they're gonna rebuild they want to rebuild a beacon and they want to rebuild the the um arena and they're gonna make a satellite um, which I have to say the satellite is a really good idea, um, so that the comms aren't all lost again. Um, interesting stuff, guys. Wow, wow, a lot has been going on in Atlas. There's been, like, a whole other thing going on in Atlas this whole time. That's crazy. All right, guys, let's get into the next episode. I'm dying to see what's going to happen next. Let's go. I'm loving that new theme, by the way. I'm loving the new theme. I just, I love this. There's something it reminds me of, and I can't think of it. I'll think of it after. It's like a 90s cartoon. Not something from, like, Cartoon Network, you know? I can't think of what it is. Oh, and now we can see where everyone's going to get the upgraded. Okay. Everyone's about to... And, see, and so Ironwood was, like... So, I feel like Ironwood and Crow did not get along great. Like, they did not get along great. And now he's like, bring it in. Bring it in, friend. Oh, yeah. And we also have, uh, we have more Salem's crew in Atlas. Oh, God. So, we are going to see, we are going to see Weiss's family at some point. <sighs> Penny. And then, so we're seeing Atlas Academy now. So we're gonna, where are we gonna be getting kind of back to like the school days? Are we gonna be, are we gonna be back in school? Are they gonna go to school again? I, I gotta say, I cannot wait to see like how everyone came up with their new looks. I'm legit excited. Oh God. See, I think we're seeing like a little preview. Of, oh, I just, I just love that. I just love that stylization. So even Ruby's got kind of a new haircut, it kind of seems like. And the Winter Maiden, we got mention of the Winter Maiden, let's not forget that. And she's a little elderly, maybe? All right, gather around. Our mission today is to secure the launch site for the Amity Communications Tower. The designated okay. area is an abandoned dust mine. Since its closure, the Grim have moved in. Good news okay. is all that untouched dust is still down there too. Science teams oh. still need it for the first phase of their launch. Apologies for the mess and for holding on to your weapons for so long. The upgrades you requested were, uh, well, they were more than I anticipated. <laughs> <laughs> they had a long list. Already hard at work clearing out the surrounding tundra. The recon has identified a powerful geist that's managed to evade destruction and okay. take some lives. After we increased our numbers, the guys were smart enough to retreat into the mine itself, meaning it's old and extremely dangerous. Oh, this is just the way target. we like it. Your new weapons and armor should be as <laughs> Nora. But I also took the liberty of <laughs> removing your combat footage from the viral festival tournament. There's some additional enhancements I'd like to suggest. <clears throat> uh, oh, but for now, uh, these should sound well enough. The mine was a labyrinth back in the day. <laughs> 
There's all sorts of tunnels and chambers the guys can move between. So if we're gonna kill this thing, we'll have to split up and corner it. Aww. General Ironwood says you've seen your fair share of Harrison's combat. face. I trust that man with my life. Her hair's starting so tomorrow, to get to her. I'll be trusting you all too. Mm. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Oh, they can have a little. Are they gonna have a little chat? That's a may oh my god! Yes! Oh, she looks good with short hair. Oh my god. Um, Weiss is this ah! <laughs> Yes! Really? I feel like she's really leaning into kind of like the the cool girl aviator kind of look, you know? I like that. I like it a lot. Oh my god, Weiss just makes her look like like a frosty princess. Which she, I mean she's <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of her thing, but it's just very royal looking. Oh, look at all those new looks. Oh my God, John. And he was like, oh, hair's in the face. Let's get rid of it. Oh, oh they look awesome. <laughs> it was, it was, I mean, it was definitely said in a positive tone. Oh my God, the looks. Oh my God, they're looks. <gasps> hey, baby. Oh. That's handy. Uh, sorry, just she not like... used to the new hair yet. You like it? it? Bad? No, no, it's, it's good. Bad. Great, Very good. Um, you did not sign up to be a babysitter. Yeah, well, the rest of us babysit you all the time. Oh, he's like, huh? Oh, what do you mean? You babysit me? Oh my God, Weiss is. I just the. I think her look is the most drastic. Honestly, maybe even above like John's hair. And I like we're, Ruby's got a little bit angling up in here. Like the cold of Solitas can kill you in a matter of hours. Uh oh. You don't feel as bad about leaving Oscar behind. Can we? Talk about that again. We left Oscar behind. What about it? We're really not going to tell Ironwood what happened to Oz. What we learned about Jin, about Salem. We are. Yeah. We will. But you saw how things looked when we flew in the Atlas. The general's heart seems to be in the right place, but that doesn't mean we should trust him yet. We need to play along for a while before we make any major decisions. It's, okay. Yeah. How did Oscar feel about that? Not good, I'm guessing. I'm guessing not we good. Keep running around with an ancient relic on a keychain. Okay. Know? But I know you'll keep it safe in Atlas. Ruby, hiding things from Ironwood. Doesn't that feel like what Ospin did to us? Ah, oh, thank you. That's just what I was saying. That's just what I was saying. Yay! Hey, still not really used to working with other huntsmen in the field. But you were on a team before, weren't you? A long time ago. I just found working alone tends to be for the best. Well, I think that's a shame. It is a shame. Oh, see? Friendship is magic. Alpha here. Give me an update. The connecting ice tunnels oh, seem clear. Oh, come a hand we once in a while. Actual mine any minute now. He says that, but he's been working with our crew for a while. I am... Um... Like what you did with your outfit, Ren. <laughs> probably stay focused on the mission. Oh, okay. Oh. I like your outfit too. Hmm. She's like, whatever, John. A bit of a snag. Is what it gave in the main entrance. Oh, what was with Not that? Not sure if it's recent or was caused by the original accident. Either he just way, got a little bashful. Do a problem solving. Understood. Let us know if you need anything. You okay? I just realized where we are. This mine was closed after an explosion. Oh. I remember this disaster. Or rather, 
I remember how furious it made my father. Was this what she was talking about? I wish I could take back the years of pain my family has caused the faunus. And all of my complacency in it. Honey, you were a kid. The society is set up for faunus to be at the bottom. And humans are willing participants. They benefit from doing nothing to help us. But there are still those who actively abuse us. Anyway, wow. I'm going to solve systemic societal issues. Harriet found a gap in the rubble we think one of you could fit through. Ideally, someone with a knack for seeing in the dark. Uh, oh, of course. Mm -hmm. Some kitty night vision, perhaps? That was an interesting commentary. Ooh. All right, Blake. Take a look around. Blake's just looking good. Area. Mine cards, uh, debris, no dust though. Great, then it should be safe to blast our way through. Okay, heading back. <gasps> oh. Blake, stand back. Oh man. That, I, that, oh, I don't like that. No, I don't like, I don't. That's a that's like a bug that's a bug gram. I can tell you right now I am not about it. No! We got an infestation up in here. No 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 no. That's disgusting. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. That's exactly what I was thinking. My god, this animation though. She she get she got did she get some uh, upgrades there? Oh my God, Weiss! Weiss with the with the hair though, it's like oh, poofy princess hair. I love it, but yet it's but yet it's not. You know what I mean? It's like it's it's her own. It's very bold, don't you think, compared to her other hairstyles? And I think maybe that says something about where she's at. Skin. What was that? That was so cool. Let's go. Why did Ren kind of... Why did he say that to Nora? That made me sad. I think he was just maybe being bashful, you know? Maybe it was just kind of like... Uh-oh. Oh. No. Oh, I lo I'm loving all the upgrades they got. I'm really, really loving it. A Nora's new look, too. A very head first approach. Yeah, That's well, how they roll. Kind of our style. That's their thing. <laughs> They're all exhausted now, but they got it done. I got it. Whoa. There's someone that makes you super fast, just like me. Very cool. Well, based on your reaction time, I'd say I'm a little faster. Oh, I'm sorry. She's trying to give you a compliment. Are you? Are you? Are you? Oh, we're making this competition here. I'm okay. Crow just. Oh my god. As if he couldn't get any hotter. I don't. Not. I'm not a fan of this Grim right here. That's, I don't like the ghosty Grim. I'm. I didn't like the buggy Grim either. Not a big fan of what this one's doing. Oh, oh, Wait, stop. oh, oh, <gasps> Darn it. Target escaped. Last scene headed east. Oh, Thanks man. for the call out. That could have been bad. Got each other's backs for that? Me. My semblance brings misfortune. Sometimes Hi. I can't keep it under control. That's so? Well, hey, don't beat yourself up about it. I mean... My semblance is good fortune. Lucky you, huh? Charlie, bravo. You should be able to cut off the target at the heart of the mine. Crow and I won't be far behind. Cancel each other out? I'm, 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 li I'm liking this. Whatever's happening here, I'm liking it. I'm, I'm liking it. Ooh. 
What's that? Guys! Everyone use caution. This room is highly active with dust energy. Triggering it could ruin the launch site. And vaporize us. How is that always second with you? <laughs> I thought the target was supposed to be in here. <gasps> Guys, target is in there. No. It's now made itself into a terrible monster. It added dust to its body? That's How crazy. Oh, Joel, we're we're gonna do it. Ooh! Oh, sweet! That's so cool. That seems like it'll be very dangerous for it to have all that dust, too. Oh my god. Oh, she's got, oh, she's like the, she's like the Flash. She's like the Flash. That's awesome. Wow, this crew is impressive. Ruby's like, ah, fangirling. Ruby's fangirling about it. I don't blame her. What would you guys do without me? See ya. Oh, whoa! He's oh, that <laughs> that was epic! Oh my god, this crew though! And here comes all that dust. Harriet. Oh, it's cute. Harriet hair. Because they called her hair earlier. Good job! Ruby's just like, hey! I thought you said your semblance was like mine. It is? Eh? I've seen other speed semblances before. That, that was different. That's I different. There's more going on than you think. Wait until she sees what she could do with her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Like catch, huh? Hmm. No, I chalked that one up to talent. Atlas Control, this is Clover. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Look at the background! Yay, we win! <laughs> oh, what's going on with? Okay, let's. Uh-oh. Oh! That, no. I can't unsee that. Oh, well. I'm someone just like you. I'm sure that isn't someone true. who wants to mix things up around here. Oh, dear, no. No! Oh, and that's the end of that guy. That's the end of that guy. Rip. Rip. Oh, so there. But I don't think that's exactly the way that they were thinking of mixing things up. Like they wanted like social change, and Tyrion just—I don't know—he wants mayhem. Well, he wants what Salem wants, basically. But oh boy, guys, I am loving the Aesops. I'm lo I'm re I really am enjoying Do does that say doggo tail doggo tail a technical term everyone doggo tail oh my god I love how all the characters are very unique and have unique abilities and unique looks and it seems like they all kind of have very um big personalities as well which I'm, I'm looking forward to getting to know better okay it's gonna try to play the next one it's gonna be like hey girl you know you want that, Ruby, though. I do. I do. All right, you guys. Um, <laughs> oh, that episode was good. So I feel like the first episode I watched today was 
a lot of like, let's catch you up on everything that's gonna go on. And this one was about, let's get to know our new characters. Let's see some more of the world around us. And let's get into that and kind and it's it helps too because this is such a technologically advanced place that we're in and I feel like um, it kind of it's kind of interesting to have like a measuring stick for like what our crew either can do or like how they do it you know like is everything a military procedure or are you rushing in there and you know just like uh, living on a prayer and some help from your team and just going in and getting it done. And we kind of saw that, um, with, uh, with John and Nora and Ren, um, the way that their style kind of differed a little bit. And we saw, um, I liked the speed comparisons, by the way, between Ruby and was it, was it Harry? Was it Harriet? Is that her name? That, sh that had the speed, I think? Oh, yeah, because like a bunny, like a hare. Okay. Let me guess. Is she from like, you know, the old, um, I don't know what it is about the tortoise and the hare. Maybe that's what her, I don't know. Her inspiration is probably like hare inspired. I don't know. Um, but anyway, like that was cool. And it definitely, it does seem like they have two very, very different kinds of speed ability so I'll be curious to see if we unpack that at any point um but I kind of like that that like we have like a measuring stick now um you know when we first started out we were in kind of a school setting where we were all sort of um in training you know um and we haven't been around a ton of adults when we're not in like a battle type setting since then you know, I think the closest we had was like, you know, we had Maria kind of helping Ruby with the silver eyes. Um, but we haven't been in a position where like, here is an established society and we are now going to get feedback on like how we do things and, 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 um, our semblances and our abilities and our equipment and, um, you know, our style of battle and everything, um, I feel like this is the first time we're really getting that um, in a while, so that's cool. I really like the Aesops guys. I'm get I'm looking forward to getting to know them better. And I don't know what was happening with I forget his name, but um, the individual who is with Crow. But I'm loving that. I love that he has met someone who. Um, it seems that their semblances balance each other out, perhaps? Is that what they were getting at? Um, is his actual semblance good fortune, or was he just saying, like, he has good luck? I think, did he actually, I'll go back and look at, and listen to the line again, but, like, if that was his actual, like, that would be crazy. They would literally be, like, the perfect comp compliment to each other. Um, I love all the new looks. Um... I just think, I don't know, guys. I know there's some stuff coming, but right now it just looks like this is going to be great for everyone, you know? And I know, like, I know even as I say that, this is going to get so messed up. Because already we're starting this out. We're building a foundation on lie slash withholding the truth. And I got to say, there is, there is some logic in not giving away all of the info right now it is very dangerous volatile info and we don't have an awful lot of um reason to i mean we've been with ironwood for like 10 minutes you know i don't get i don't blame that they're not just gonna they have to handle this carefully you know what I mean? Like, I get that. But at the same time, I love that they brought it up that, like, isn't that kind of what happened to them? That, like, all that info was with hell? And it seems like it, and it seems like it'd be particularly important, too. Like, it's important just in that if you're enlisting people to be huntsmen and huntresses, clue them in. But it seems like if they have all these big plans of things to do, like, ooh, I don't know. It seems like it would be kind of pertinent info. Um, but... Um, but it's, it's uh, guys, I just feel like there's no really good answer for that. You know what I mean? There's no really good answer because, I mean, Ironwood was not in an awesome state last time we saw him. And what's going to happen if we tell him all of these plans and hopes and dreams that are probably keeping you going at this point, giving you hope for the future that you're going to be able to make a difference? 
Yeah, no. It's, uh, well, it, well, we know that there is no way to defeat Salem. We know that amongst our crew, we have decided to fight anyway. But we know how hard a decision that was for them, you know. And Ironwood's in charge of a lot. Like, it's it's hard to say, like, what is going to happen if you tell a, a huge leader in that position? I don't blame them, them in a way, but it does raise, raise an interesting question that, like, hmm, what do we do? What do we do? I don't have a great answer. I don't know what I would do in that position. I don't have a great answer for it. But I also don't lead people like a boss, like Ruby. I, I you know, Ru Ruby can handle the big decisions. I will sit back and watch and observe from over here. Um, I'm trying to think of, okay, I already said I love the looks. I love the upgrades. I love the little Blake and Yang moment. The little Nora and Ren moment, I, that kind of made me sad a little bit. I'm sure it's just him being, it better not be them, like, planting seeds of, like, they're going to break up. Uh, that would make me really upset. I'm not going to lie. It would make me really upset if they broke up. Um, but it's probably not that. It's probably just him being like, oh, can't talk right now. You know what I mean? Maybe they'll talk about it later. That's, <laughs> but, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, all right, guys, we're off to an awesome start in this volume. Um, I can't wait to see what's going to happen next. I know there's, I know it's going to be, I know there's going to be like a clash of something at some point, whether it's a clash of ideals over the military way of doing things versus our crew's way of doing things, or the stuff hits the fan when all this eventually comes out, maybe all of the above, I don't even know. Nobody better die, Ren and Nora better not break up. That's, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You guys don't want to see that tantrum that's going to happen. Um, all right, guys, as always, Ruby Day has been a fantastic day. I loved these episodes. I can't wait to see what's going to happen next. Now I oh, now the countdown begins again. Oh, I can't do it. Oh, I must binge watch. No, no, stay strong. I could do this. I could do this. What you guys even do if I came back and was like, so guys, I can't stop. <laughs> We're just going to do like 15 episodes and well it's not even that long of a volume I don't think is it no it's not it's like probably 13 or 4. I don't look ahead so um no I'll be good because I like to I like to be able to digest and process and get feedback you know it's part of what makes the experience so enjoyable for all of us you know because then I'm more informed you know it's it's good I'll just do two at a time but it is hard guys I'm not gonna lie I want to see it all right now when I'm current again, it's going to be bad. It's going to be so bad when I have to go to like one a week. Um, all right. As I was saying, I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to join me next time and we will watch it together. Bye for now, guys. <laughs>